Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to play Mary's Lullaby. This is um, the one that is for uh, Pearls for a Cure for 2016. This one's done by the cast of Wicked. Uh, you can go to rainydayguitar.com. You can print off the words with the chords. I've actually got this one on there, which has the, chord, the pictures of the chords on the bottom, which is super helpful. Um, this one, I'm going to dedicate this one to my good friend Kathy, who has been my closest colleague over at school for about 19 years. So this one goes out to her. She's the one who brought it to my attention. I'm going to put it through with them, play it through once, and then I will go back and show you how to do it step by step. Probably going to miss the first note because it comes up really fast, and I'll probably make a few mistakes, but I can still show you some really, few, really cool stuff. Okay, here we go. about as good as I'm going to get it. All right, um, this there's just some straight chords in here, but I'm going to mix it up a little bit. It's not going to be played quite straight. Easier if you just play it straight, but there's so many fun fingering things. I'm going to show you how to do those too. So if that's too hard, you can just play with the basic C's and G's and D's. Um, it's got some interesting chords here on the bottom that I'm going to show you. And uh, most of the chords are just, you can like G's and C's. If you don't know those, you can go to Rainy Day Guitar on the beginning tab and print off like the second chord sheet down has most of those. But, okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna start with our capo on five and we're gonna start with a basic G, okay? But I'm just gonna do a G with a basic D. This is the introduction. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna go. So that's the introduction. Okay, so what I did there was I went, um, you're going you're gonna to want to pick six or four and one and two at the same time. And I probably hit three. Okay. And then I'm going to put my tom in on two. So I'm plucking one, two, and four, then three, then put my tom in on two, and then hit three again, and then take him off. Okay, got that? 
and then you go to a D, pluck everybody, one, two, three, and four, then hit three again, and then I'm going to switch to a D7-2. And I went, um, so for me, twins is one and two together, all right? Um, so I'm going to pluck those, I'm going to kind of pluck the twins together, then hit three, and then I'm going to put my ring finger down to, to complete my D7. So a D7-2 is a D7 without the ring. So I'm going to do twins, three, and then put my ring down, twins, three. Okay, so let me kind of go back and do that. So on the D, I'm kind of going one, two, and four. Oh, sorry, G, G. This is the G with the base of, a four, base of D, which is four. Then tall man down. Take him off, okay, and then go to a D, pluck everybody, then three, then switch to a D7, two, and hit twins, three, twins, three, and then you're going to go on a G, I'm going to pluck one, two, three, and six, let's see, so what did I do there, I went one, two, three, and six, four, three, four, then grab two, it's the bottom half of a C, it says C on here, but I don't want to pluck my bass note. So then I'm just going to pluck two and four, and then three, and then go back to my G. Or so you can just even hold it if you wanted to. Okay, so let me kind of review that introduction, okay? So one, two, three, actually one, two, and four. So I'm just kind of alternating one, two, three, three, two, three, two, three, D, pluck everybody, three, and then switch to D7, two, twins, three, twins, three, go to a G, four, three, four, switch to a, this is bottom half of a C, grab two and four, three, and then pluck everybody, and you could probably just go like that, okay? Let me try it faster. your introduction and your ending. Okay, now we're going to start with the song, okay? And there's so many different picks you could use. I'm going to show you two basic ones that I do, that I use. Um, bass three, twins three, twins three. Your bass on a G is six, and you can alternate between six and four. Six, three, twins, one and two plucked together. Six, three, twins, three, twins, three, four, three, twins, three, twins, three. That works really well, and I've got these written down for you. So you can kind of see the two different plucks. And I go back and forth between them so it doesn't get boring. I kind of switch. You can stick with one. You can stick with the other. Or you can mix them up like I do. Okay, so the other one is bass three, two, three, one, two. Bass three, two, three, one, two. And I'm out of the middle. But if I move into the middle instead of one, two, three, I'm now on two, three, four. Bass four, three, four, two, three. Bass four, two. I'm sorry. Bass four, three, four, two, three. Bass four, three. Four, two, three. Okay, so that's another way that you can do that. Same pattern, but just in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna <clears throat> try to sing. This is not in my range. If I were not playing with them, I would take the cape off, but I want to keep it in the same case. So you can kind of see how it goes. All right. Sleep little baby, close your... Okay, I'm gonna do that same thing where I'm gonna pluck two and four, then three. going to go to a D7-2. So a D7 is this, but lift off your ring now. You have a D7-2. The wise will not Put your ring down. Complete your seven. Tired from... Okay, now leave. This one's kind of tricky. You're going to leave your pointer on two, your tom on three. You're going to reach up with your ring, and you're going to grab two, three, and six. Okay, no, not one, sorry. Yeah, that's what you want. Two, three, and six, and then you're gonna go four, three, two, three, four. And then let go of those two, but keep your ring on and do that exact same thing again. Two, three, and six, four, three, two, three, four. So it sounds like this. Being so wise. Not pretty? Okay. Now we're gonna go to a C. The shepherds are weary from, and I alternated between six and five, between five and four. From watching their sheep, the sea cattle are wooing, and a 
that was your bass note. Going to D, sus, D sustained four, or suspended, suspended, yeah, suspended. Okay, D with a pinky underneath on the first string. So I'm gonna go. do there I don't really care what I think I did there was four and one pinkies on the first string and I hit two then I pulled him off and then I went one two three two okay so let me show you Every time I hit one, I hit four. One, two, one, two, three, two. That also works. I, instead of one, I hit one and two. That time. You just gotta get six beats. One and one. Let's see. One, two, one. Aha! One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? But I like him and then like the on, off. Okay? Back to G. Our Father in D7. Heaven is. This one's kind of fun. We're gonna go E minor. Normally on an E minor, we're gonna grab six, but this time we're gonna grab five. And then hit three. So one, two, and five, then three. Now we're gonna do an F major seventh, which if you don't know what that is, there's a picture of it down on the bottom. Cool chord, huh? Okay, so you basically you're gonna go two, three, four, and your bass note is gonna be an F, because you'd have to reach up and grab that, but we're, we're gonna keep it high, because it's gonna work out better for us if we don't have to worry about that. So our Father in heaven is down the second string third fret See? got it so I plucked everybody one two three and four and then I put my pinky down and hit two then I'm gonna slide up to the fifth string fourth fret oh, such a cool chord I'm gonna go one two three and five this took me forever to figure out what this was but I love the way it turned out and I'm gonna hit, uh, I'm just gonna pluck one, two, three, and five, and let it ring. And this is an A7-2, because it's really close to an A7, but we've got our second note in there. One, two, three, four, five, so it's an A7-2, okay? So we're gonna, and it's the same thing, it's just up high. It's just up high, okay? And that gives us a really cool bass note. So we're gonna pluck, uh, put our ring finger on the fifth string, fourth fret, and just pluck one, two, and one, two, three, and five, and just let it ring. Okay, so let's do that little segment. Our Father, in, wish I could sing. Sorry, heaven is granting us peace, and just hold it. Okay, she holds it for six counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna go back to that G, but a base of D, meaning we're not gonna trick ourselves and grab this because our mind's gonna think six. We're just gonna go like that. That will remind us that we wanna use our four as our bass note. They've got a deep four, but I, I don't have that low note on this guitar. That's as low as I'd have to lower this down. And I don't wanna do that. I already tried it, it didn't work out as well. Okay, okay, so now I'm gonna go with my bass note is gonna be four. And I'm gonna go sleep. I'm going to go to D7-2, okay, baby, then an A minor 7th, which all I do is I take my tall man and move him up one, heaven, but our bass note's 5, so that gives it that really cool sound, heaven, then I'm going to go D7, and I've got to pluck it, I only have two beats, so I've got to pluck one, two, and four, and then hit a three, I've got to pluck them all sooner, okay, all you get so let me show that show you that again Sleep little baby in heaven, peace. and I went to my G and I went bass three twins three twins three okay that was the first verse 
now they have this tiny little interlude. Let's see. Okay. And you could, yeah, I'd actually take my pointer off and pluck three again. So what I did there was you can actually take off your ring. You can just go six, three, four, or sorry, six, four, three. Put your pointer on the third string second fret, hit it, then take him right back off and hit three, and then, sorry, that's two. Hit two, and then go back and hit three. You want to take him off right away, otherwise he rings with this clashing note, and you don't want that. So let me show you again. I said it wrong, but I can play it easier than I can say it. Six, four, three, three, two, three. Okay, my finger nail bumped for Let me try it one more time. Six, four, three, three, two, three. Okay. And then you're back to starting the second verse. Sleep little baby through the... Oh, don't hit five. Through the night. So that was that. Two and four and then three, right? Sleep little So far, we're just repeating what we did. D7, 2. Now it's D7. That's leave these two fingers here, reach up and grab 6. Move out of 1, 2, and 3, and move to 2, 3, 4. Okay? Shine. You're going to pluck 2, 3, and 6. And then go 4, 3, 2, 3, 4. Okay, then take them off and do it again. 2, 3, and 6. 4, 3, 2, 3, 4. I said that wrong. Four, three, two. No, I said it right. Okay. Shine. Let me see if I can sing it. Shining so bright. And go to a C. I wanted. No. Wanted, wanted so far to see what beyond that A. and then a D. G. I'm <clears throat> sorry. Wishing upon it four. That's D7. E. One. Oh, sorry, I'm not getting I'm getting a buzz there. Okay, we wanna we definitely don't want to hit one, two, and four, five. That's ugly. We want to hit one, two, three, and five. We need that third. That's my F major seventh with then I add my pinky. Now here, instead of just doing that, they actually do a little plucking. So we're going to go, oh, we can't pluck, can't pluck four because it's ugly. So we can pluck one, two, three, and five and hold it. But if we want to do some more fun plucking, we need to add our pointer finger on the fourth string second fret. And I've got a picture of that. That's the chord that you'll see down there. Okay, the, the chord that says A7-2 isn't just that. It's that, okay? Then you can go do a little run right up. Plug one, two, three, and five, then go four, three, two, one, and that's pretty, okay? And she only gets three beats. One, one, two, three. She doesn't go six times like the first and the third verse, okay? Then back to that G with the base of D. So we're not going to put the whole thing on because we want to remember to grab four and not six. Sleep, sleep, D7, two. Baby, Minor seventh, then D seventh, and then to a G. Peace. And here she doesn't do any little interlude. She just goes right to the third verse. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Here we go. Third verse. Sleep little baby. Close your eyes. But D seven two. Was when our time. Do the C and on all of the time on this middle line, it's a great time to switch to that other pick because it's a really easy line, there's not a lot going on, so you can kind of have fun with your pick there without missing too much. Okay, the instead of just going bass, bass three, twins three, twins three, kind of go bass three, two, three, one, two, or even in the middle. The shepherds are back 
to base three twins three because I get more cords in. I get more bang for my buck on a short amount of time and we don't have much space here. Pluck it six beats here. So I don't care what you do, I went, I don't even know what I did. One and two and three and four and five and six and. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Whatever you want to do, just keep those fingers fluttering. I don't even know what I did. One, I went five, four, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, or I don't even know. Five, five, four. I plucked everybody if you want to. Four, three, two, one, two, four, three, two, one, two, three. I don't care. I'm just counting. I gotta hit 12 beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Don't even care. Okay? It's so pretty. Anything works. And then go back to that G with the base of D. Sleep little. D7-2. Drop it down to A minor 7th. Base is 5. Heavenly. Grab everybody there. 1, 2, 3. And, no, sorry. 1, 2, 4. And then a 3. Because it's so quick. Peace. And then you're going to repeat the intro. So you're going to go up to a D. Oh, that was terrible. And then the D. And there you have it. All right. That is Mary's Lullaby. Again, you can go to rainydayguitar.com. You can print out the words with the chords below on this version. My printer is not working very well, so I couldn't get a good copy. This is, was easier to read. But it, the, elect, the one online does have the chords below it. Okay? All right. So for more fun songs, go to rainydayguitar.com. <laughs>